based on that 23 bed capacity, which we had been have been surpassing for the past, I would want to say, three and a half weeks, the demand or the drawdown on the oxygen has become strenuous for that delivery system. So we had to basically make adaptations to facilitate or to grow along with the patient demand. So basically you're saying because of the increase in patients over an extended period or because of being at capacity in terms of patients over an extended period, the demand on the oxygen has increased from patients. Yes, and it's the demand overall. However, what has created a strain on the system is the number of intensive care patients that are connected to these high flow machines. These machines are being asked to deliver oxygen at a rate of up to 80 liters per minute. So that's a very, very high flow of oxygen. And because of the, the um, interim system delivery system that we had, the distribution, it's not a shortage of oxygen, but the distribution system has become um, inadequate and we had to modify. It means that we had to put a shorter distribution range uh, or decrease the distribution range. So it meant that we had to um, bring those liquid tanks in the hospital in a designated area, apart from where the patient care takes place, but closer to the patient so that the travel time for the oxygen or the restrictions is not as much as before. Is this as a direct result of the um, impact of this Delta variant? Well, with respect to the, the, the medical aspects of it, I would not be able to get into any detail or answer on that part of it, but technically speaking, I have seen the demand gone from um, five or six intensive care patients to now running up to 10 and 12, putting five, six patients on ventilator alongside seven or eight patients with high flow. So that oxygen demand is immense on the distribution system. So that's the reason for the modification.